Brittany back with another hoop tutorial. Today is a doubles move and it is the double anti-spin flower and it looks like this. So grab two hoops and let's get started. Okay, so a prerequisite to this move would be just being able to do the anti-spin flower both directions on each hand. Just being comfortable with having it travel across on top of your hand and yeah, I mean just being comfortable in this plane in front of you uh, in both directions will help a lot. Um, I'm going to teach both hands separately and then we will put them together at the end. Um, doubles moves are always a little bit harder to teach but they're because a lot of it rests on being patient and giving your brain time to wrap around what's actually going on, what you're telling your hands to do. So stick with it, it you will get it, I promise, um, but just keep practicing. So I'm gonna be teaching both hands separately and then we will put them together at the end. So starting with your right hand, we are going to, remember it looks like this, oh, it looks like, this and we're going to start with the right hand your thumb should be down across your body in the nine at nine o'clock palm is facing forward from here you're going to let go of the hoop let it swing up to 12 o'clock again you are going to let go of the hoop let it travel over the top of your hand and then re-grip it over at three o'clock thumb is now facing up palm is always still facing forward from here, you're going to let the hoop come up and down in front of you, and you're going to re-grip the hoop, so you're leading with your pointer finger, going forward and down, and then you're letting go of the hoop, letting it travel over the top, and re-gripping it so that your palm is facing the sky, or the ceiling, whatever, wherever you may be. From here, you're going to, again, lead with the pointer finger and bring the hoop so that your palm is facing up all, and then it's facing down back to nine o'clock. So get comfortable with, <laughs> get comfortable with those grip changes. And essentially it's three grip changes and then a, like a reset basically. So it's like grip, 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 Reset. So with the left hand, you are going to start with your palm, thumb facing up and forward. And then you are going to, instead of going up first, you're going to go down first. So you're going to lead with your pointer finger, go from nine o'clock down to six o'clock. Remember you're letting you're leading with your pointer finger, bringing it in front of you, letting go, and then gripping it, letting it travel over the top of your fingers, and then re-gripping it down at six with your palm facing up. From here, you're going to do the pointer finger lead again so that you bring it up and over to three o'clock. Thumb is now facing down and your palm is facing forward. From here, you're going up to 12 o'clock so again, you're going to let go, let the hoop travel on the tops of your fingers, and then re-grip it once it gets to 12 o'clock. And then from here, you're going back over to nine o'clock, letting go, letting it travel on the tops of your fingers, and re-gripping over here, thumb facing up again. So one thing to notice is whenever your left hand thumb is facing up, your right hand thumb should be facing down. One thing to notice is that whenever your left thumb is facing up, your right thumb is facing down. So left up, right down, right up, left down. And now it's really just, that's, that's the gist of the move. Now it's just putting it together and giving your brain and hands time to connect and actually do it. So we're starting, left thumb up, right thumb down over at nine o'clock. 
you are going to start, remember, your right hoop goes up first, your left hoop goes down first. Left is leading with your pointer finger, and then right hoop is letting it drop and travel along the tops of your fingers. So, going to go 12 and 6. And then from here, you're going to go from 12 and 6 to 3 on the other side. Right hand is letting it travel just like that. And then the left hand is also doing the pointer finger again to meet at 3. This is the one where your left hand doesn't do a grip change. <laughs> and then together, that first bit looks like this. So up and down, over to three. And this bot like this so this bottom pedal where where you have to regrip it from thumb up or th from so this bottom pedal down here when you have to grip it from thumb up to palm up um, it once you get the hang of the move it's a lot easier to just go right from here to a bottom cap oh my gosh from here, right into a bottom cap and go right into from nine o'clock to three o'clock. Um, but while you're learning, it definitely is beneficial to stop and check to make sure that you are like in line with each other. Um, but eventually being able to just make it a little bit more fluid and seamless definitely makes the move a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Okay, so now we are going to do the other way back. So from here, your left hoop will be going up and your right hoop will be going down. So left is traveling on the tops of the fingers and the right is pointing, pointer finger leading, regrip down at six. And then from here, making sure that this is in line, you're going to finish the move by letting the hoop travel on the left hand over to nine o'clock and the hoop right in your right hand, leading with your pointer finger. No, no grip change here, just bringing it up and over to nine o'clock again. And then you're where your start is. So then you can keep going and piecing it together one step at a time, checking to make sure that your hoops are coming together, your palms are always meeting, your, well like your, the palm of <laughs> and the back of your other hand are always meeting on the sides. And then this is always in line at the top and bottom. So yeah, that's really it. It's really just a matter of getting your brains and your brain and hands to uh, work together. But other than that, I'll give you some slow mos and let me know if you have any questions. And yeah. <laughs>